Hey guys, Shauna Jensen here, the artist behind Pop Studio 12 with another painting video for you. This is a leopard done digitally on my iPad Pro in the Art Studio Pro app. Um, so what I did first was I painted the whole background and then I drew out the leopard and now I am just filling in lightly all the base colors, just trying to get color all over. Um, I use the airbrush tool the entire time and I just change the size of the brush and the opacity, but that is it. I don't do anything fancy. I don't use layers or anything like that. It's just the airbrush tool. And then I just go with light layers, um, building up color and texture as I go. So when I'm doing the fur, I just um, am layering just like I would any other medium if I'm working with pastels or with uh, acrylic paint. I just um, paint the exact same way as if I'm doing one of those. So I kind of go back and forth between lights and darks, but generally I'll start dark and I will build up to the lights, but I do go back and forth sometimes. So as you see, I am just starting to build up the fur texture there and I'll go back through and glaze some parts as well. Also, I forgot to mention that the picture that I'm using is from Pixabay. So if you guys are interested in trying this yourself, go on over and check that out. So here I'm just building up the fur, just going with a lighter color and I'll get lighter and lighter as I go. If I notice that it's being a little bit flat, then I'll go back in with some darks or I'll do some glazing. And what I mean by glazing is I just take a bigger um, airbrush very low opacity and I'll just go over the light color and it just adds a color like a soft color that is just like when you're painting it just glazes over so I could still see the fur underneath and the the, um, the texture underneath but it's just tinting the color just a little bit so I'm just continuing to add little fur 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 also um when you're first starting the fur, the under layers, you're going to use a thicker uh, brush and then you're going to get thinner and thinner as you're building on top. And that's also going to help with looking more realistic. So now I'm doing the bridge of the nose, just adding those little uh, tiny furs. You want to make sure that the direction of the fur is going the right way. So pay close attention to your reference photo. If if it's not, it's not going to look realistic. Um, so you want to make sure that you are doing them the right length. So on the nose is going to be shorter hairs than around the face or um, on the neck. So you also want to make sure that they are going in the right direction. So that will help with it looking more realistic. As I'm working down the neck here, the fur gets a lot longer. So I'm making sure that the the fur is overlapping, that it is going over the spots. I want those spots to make sure that they're, they look like they're in with the fur instead of sitting on top. So I'm gonna go back and forth with the lights and the darks until I get it to look how I want. So I'm just building up the fur here. Like I said, I'm starting thicker uh, with a thicker brush and then I get thinner and thinner as I go and lighter and lighter to make it look more realistic. And this method of painting, how I'm doing, is obviously not the right way. You might do it different. Um, there's many ways to do digital painting. This is just how I do it and what is comfortable for me. I'm sure it's not the quickest method of painting, but it's how I'm used to painting, so it works for me. The final steps here are just adjusting my lights and darks, making sure that, that my lights are light enough and my darks are dark enough so that I get that contrast um, and then adding the whiskers and that's it for this one so I hope you guys enjoyed it if you want to see more of my work you can visit shaunajensenfineart.com so thank you for watching and see you guys next time